Okay, so I'm just going to go over some basic differences between Avid and Final Cut with regard to trimming, because trimming is something that I hear a lot of people uh, voice some concern about. So I'm just going to go through like three different types of trimming, and I'll just do it in each app, and I'll, I'll just show you how it's different. Ruth, stay there! So you're going to see a problem here. Right? Ready? That car needs some help. Ready. That uh, cross doesn't doesn't really work. So we want to trim from the tail, say of the uh, A side of the shot. So in Avid, most people would probably put um, you know trim rollers on these things, and you can use the mouse to find your cut point. You can use keystrokes to find your cut point. But a lot of times, what people like about this is that you can use your JKL trimming, or in my case, I have my keyboard mapped in a weird way, so it's not gonna be JKL, but you get the idea. So I can play around with the space bar on this cut, and I can change the cut point when I feel it to be the right place. And what I've been able to do with this is I've been able to trim the tail of the A-side clip here, and I've also been able to shorten any of the tracks that are running underneath it at the same time because of the configuration of these trim rollers. All right? So now we're going to look at the same thing here in Final Cut. Uh, if I can play this back, I can loop it just like I would in Avid. And if I want to trim the shot, I can just ready? hit Option. I was born, uh, right bracket and it will trim the shot. I don't need to put on rollers. I don't need to go in any sort of different mode. It's it's a simple keystroke and, and it can make the trim. Now, but what it won't do is it's not going to trim these tracks that uh, run beneath it. So I will have to then trim these back. I can do that just by dragging them or I can do it with a keystroke on my mouse, I can do it uh, with a keystroke on the keyboard. It's very fast, very easy. All I have to do is hover over these things and lop them off, and I'm back in action. Okay, another type of trimming that you might do is like slip and slide trimming. So we're just gonna play the same thing. Uh, I probably wouldn't solve this problem exactly like this, but... Um, it just sort of illustrates this tool. So we have the same problem, only this time we're gonna put rollers on this thing and I can play this forward, I can play this back, uh, and I have all of these, uh, I have like this four up display so that I have all this information that I can work with when I am doing um, my trimming. And that, is something that a lot of people like. I almost never use this. I'm really only concerned with these, with like the outgoing and the incoming frame most of the time. Uh, but if I do that also, you'll notice Ruth, stay there. Um, if I change where this lives, this woman in the wheelchair is coming to a stop right here and we've got a sound effect that goes along with that. And now that I've, I've uh, slipped it, I am out of, out of sync. So I'm gonna need to move that so that Ruth, stay there. it lines up again. Now, how would we do that in Final Cut? Well, I'm not gonna be able to use my Ruth, JKL keys to play this clip forward and back and slip it. The only way I'm going to be able to Ready? do it is frame by frame, or I'm going to have to use my mouse. And so that's the kind of thing that people get irritated about. They're like, well, why do I have to use my mouse? It's just my, uh, you know, n editors don't like to do that a lot of times. So, and you know, for good reason, it would be great if I could just JKL and play this around. That'd be fantastic. Uh, something tells me it's not at the top of Apple's to-do list, but it's not too much of a problem for me because I probably would use my mouse uh, for this kind of thing anyway. But and I, and I get a when I do that I get a two up display, 
to see my incoming, uh, my outgoing and my incoming frame on the A and B side. So I have that for reference. And like I said, I rarely use those other two monitors that the Avid gives you. So I can, I can slip this, get something like that. And you'll notice that when I've done that, uh, my wheelchair effect stays right in sync. That wheelchair effect goes with this clip wherever it moves. So that's really nice. Anything that's attached to a sync point is going to travel long. We've gone over that before, but this is just another example of how that might work. Now you'll have to adjust your ambience again or any music tracks or whatever that might live under that. But there you go. Change is made. It's pretty easy. The only downside with this, no JKL, no dynamic trimming. All right, back to Avid for the last one. This would be like asymmetric trimming. And the easiest example of that would be like L cuts. Done money! It's, it's, so I want, let's say I want to pre-lap this guy. It's, he kind of stammers. If I want to pre-lap that, now I'm trimming in um, opposite directions, right? I'm, I'm taking from the head of my picture and in one direction, and I'm taking from the tail of audio in another direction so that I get this kind of a cut. And again, with Avid, like everything, I can do that just using JKL keys, and that's awesome because my Bye. hands just stay on the keyboard. It's in the back. And you're just moving stuff back and forth. It's great. It's so there's like an asymmetric trim in Avid. How would I do that same thing in Final Cut? Oh, well, here's the same thing. I want to make him stammer. It's in the back. I can just double click this, open it up, and pre lap him. It's. It's the L cut's back. very simple. I'm, again, I don't have to like set rollers. It's a single point of action, just shortening the tail here. And everything's going to move out of the way because the magnetic timeline that we've talked about, and you're good to go. Um, and I might have to, again, uh, extend like some room tone or something under here. But uh, that's it. Then you've made the change. Um, so I hit my backslash to select both sides of an edit left, right bracket for A and B sides. And it's a simple, very direct means of modifying things. So what I like about it is that all I ever have to really worry about or focus on is the exact thing I want to affect. So it's just fun. Thanks. Bye.